I feel like you see into my soul and feel naked and exposed. Caramel tingles with excitement. Imagining the warmth of your touch. I'd probably say the majority of the family are not willing to read the stories. It, it, it was hard at first telling them I've been writing and they're like, oh, that's great, you know, what are you writing about? And as soon as, you know, I say erotica, they're like, oh, oh, okay. My name is Liz Sankish. I'm from Shoreham, New York. Um, I used to be a retail manager in the industry for 18 years, and I currently am an erotica writer, author, um, poet, sculptor, artist. My life was pretty challenging. It, it was nonstop. I could, you know, go in and work an eight to five, um, a ten to seven, a twelve to nine, a two to eleven. So that was constantly changing. My day offs were always different. I worked weekends always, um, holidays always, because that's you know when the stores make their money. Not only did I have to manage a business, I also had to manage a family. Um, so I usually ran on no sleep consistently. I didn't seem to be happy unless I was in the midst of chaos. Like that's when I seemed to thrive and do my best. I actually left retail. I had already started um, writing and sculpting. I had probably been doing it for the last year that I was in retail. My 25 year marriage had, at marriage had ended as a result of me being um, celibate through the process and really trying to just, you know, clear my head and my heart. Um, I guess in my loneliness, I had decided that I wanted to write a journal and the journal actually sort of evolved into, um, instead of more personal things, it turned into stories. Am I really writing about sex and passion and... I mean, I was flabbergasted at myself because I would have never thought that that was something that I would do one day. But that continued to flow out of me, so I just kept writing and um, I knew at some point I really had to make a decision. Am I going to be bold enough and strong enough to really put this book out? No one under 18 should read the book, no. It's definitely meant for adults only. <laughs> are the stories real? Um, the stories are not real. <laughs> I guess there's somewhat about me, again, in the sense that the character is, is a reflection of me. So certain things that I will dig up or write um, are things maybe that I think or feel. It's a lonely process because I am pretty secluded. I think people may think that I'm out there having a good old time, but that's really not the case, really. Um, I'm probably more secluded than ever, and that's the hard piece for me. My priority right now is nurturing myself, um, and, and that's pretty much what this process is for me, is sort of like finding my new voice and finding who I really was, that I was probably meant to be, that I didn't become because of the other aspect of my life.